Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. It's January 1st, 2024, and I'm at the Lego store. There's over 100 new releases that are hitting the shelves today. So of course, we're gonna be checking them all out, and I'm gonna be buying some. Let's get started. Included in those new releases is two new GWPs. So you get the retro food truck if you spend 245 Canadian dollars. It's actually a pretty cool looking GWP there. Not too bad. And then also, if you buy the new mansion, which is in the Lego Friends lineup, you get the flower garden and beach cleanup. If you buy the mansion, well, then you get like both GWPs because this thing's 260 Canadian dollars. But look at that thing. That is actually pretty cool. Like Friends is stepping up their game. Like that's crazy. You'll never get that in any other lineup, would you? Look at the uh, the trees on the side with those like fern elements. Super cool. And you know what? It actually has more depth than I thought. Look, there's like a patio right there with the hot tub. And just the different colors and everything looks pretty cool. Then we have the garage right there. It comes with that car. The car can pull right through. And there's some sweet like uh, flower elements right there. It's actually a pretty neat set. It's not on my wanted list, but I might have to add it. Cause that would be a pretty sweet set to like modularize and have like this crazy mansion in your Lego city. Beside that is a new Marvel set. This is the Rocket Raccoon. So they did Groot and now they're giving us Rocket. And beside that is three new Technic sets in this little cube. We've got the Off-Road Race Buggy, also the McLaren Extreme E-Racer and then a the little Bulldozer. Since we saw that little baby Rocket Raccoon, we may still take a look at him on the shelf right up here. He's beside another new release, which is Spider-Man's Mask. And that's my first two purchases, everybody. I'm gonna get the Rocket Raccoon and also the Spider-Man Mask. I've got all the other like helmets slash masks and I just feel like I need that one as well. I think this is new too, right? Yeah, new, it says right there, $44.99. You get the uh, three minifigures in that one. That's Spider-Man Race Car and Venom Green Goblin. There's another new Marvel set, I thought. Oh yeah, this one here. Uh, this one is the Spider-Man versus Sandman final battle. And the interesting thing about this one is that I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> no, another interesting thing about it is the fact that you get uh, Lizard, Electro, Spider-Man, and it can actually go on the top of this set. I believe they are compatible. I wonder if it shows that on the packaging. Pretty sure it does. But What's rather weird, in my opinion, is it comes with Electro. Doesn't this set come with Electro too? Yeah, so if they're like compatible with each other, I, I think they are at least, why do you need two Electros? I think that's sort of strange, but I wanna get it because it'll look cool on top of that other set. Also, there's the new War Machine. That's a sick minifig right there. And then there's the new uh, Venom uh, mech right here. Also the motorcycle chase with Doc Ock. That's a cool Doc Ock. Oh, is he venomized? Whoa, that's a cool figure, hey? And then there's uh, Rockets, Warbird versus Ronin, and also the X-Men Jet. So the X-Men Jet, uh, the X-Man Jet. <laughs> then we've got Wolverine. It comes with Rogue, uh, Magneto, and also Cyclops. So some pretty cool new sets here in the Marvel department. I'm sure I didn't feature them all. And it looks like they've got lots of Avengers Towers as well. You know, I really should get more. I should get this jet. Holy cow, it's $110. Wow, that's a lot of money. Okay, uh, but it, it comes with some cool figs, but wow, I didn't realize it was $110. Having an honest first look at it here today. Uh, Rockets Warbird versus Ronin, uh, $50 for that one there. I think I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna get this one and these two and maybe I'll be back another day to get some more of these other ones here. I don't know, I haven't quite decided yet though. I guess as we film this video, I'll, I'll sort of decide what I wanna get, right? There's a new uh, Technic set down here and this is the Mac garbage truck. There's that off-road buggy and the uh, McLaren. Is the John Deere Harvester new? I believe the John Deere Harvester is new as well. There's the little tiny bulldozer there. Uh, anything else new in the Technic department? I think there's some more releases coming out later on this year. Like there's all the space stuff, which actually looks pretty sweet. I don't know if I'm gonna get any Technic stuff. 
I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave that today. I believe there's a ton of new stuff in the Ninjago department, like right down here, the Dragon's Rising stuff. I'm not a Ninjago specialist, but boy, oh boy, that packaging is fire. Hey, it's like 3D-ish. The dragons are popping right out of the package. So that's all the Rising Dragon Strike sets. So those are all new. There's also the, the Master Dragon right here. This guy looks pretty cool. I like his hat and his mustache. <laughs> I, I, I unfortunately don't know very much about Ninjago at all, but I still want to feature some of the new stuff. Like, look at this mech. That's crazy. There's so many different mechs in Ninjago. It's wild. There's also this Destiny's Bounty up here. I don't think this is... No, that's not new. This is a nice one, though. I do have one Destiny's Bounty in my collection. They've done quite a few now. Like, how many have they done? Is that the third or the fourth Destiny's Bounty? Quite a few. And actually, Ninjago is right beside Star Wars, where we have an epic new release right here. Like, this is the ultimate battle pack. Like, are you kidding me? For sure going to grab two of those. It's limited two per household. Looks like they've got a few, but they've got to limit them because people will come in here and buy them all, right? They want to build armies, and so do I. Look at that. You get the clone shock trooper, three clone troopers, two battle droids, and two super battle droids. Are you kidding me? That is such a good battle pack, 40 bucks. And how many figures was that? Five, eight, nine figures for 40 bucks? So it's like five bucks a fig plus all of the additional pieces. Not too bad at all. I'm definitely gonna get two of those. Uh, there's one other new Star Wars release as well. I think it's right down here. It's like a four plus set. The Crimson Firehawk. That one I'll leave on the shelf for sure. Uh, but it does come with some pretty cool figures, but it is $65. Looks like they've uh, hidden some sales right beside Star Wars here as well. So they've got the Royal Clamshell on sale, which is regular $220, and it's on for $176. Keep in mind, these are, once again, all Canadian prices. There's a whole new wave of Dream sets that's coming out uh, here on January 1st as well. And these are the older ones down here, but above that is all of the newer ones. Oh no, sorry, beside that, these ones here are all new, like the Sandman's Tower. And Zoe and Zian, the Cat Owl. <laughs> I was having a hard time reading. I, I couldn't believe it. Cat Owl. I was like, what? And Mr. Oz's car. That is actually a pretty cool car. I do have that one constructed at home. I just haven't featured it yet. But it is cool because you have the option of having it as a car or this like land craft or the spacecraft. And then of course the highlight in my opinion and all of the dream stuffs is the parts and the minifigures. Like look at the minifigures on that. And also the narwhals too, right? Like you can't have dreams without narwhals. <laughs> and uh, down here is something else that I'm gonna get today because I've wanted them to create Mario Karts forever. And they've uh, started it with Bowser's muscle car. I I'm going to call it a Mario Kart, but I've been saying they should make Mario Karts for quite some time and now they're they're doing it. So I like I can't say that I want Mario Karts and not pick up Bowser's Mario Kart, right? Got to get that. So that department is also right beside Minecraft. There's a bunch of new Minecraft stuff. I think down here that one looks new. Ooh, Minecraft specialist, now is your time to roast me in the chat or in the uh, comment section. Because once again, I still have not played Minecraft. Oh man, I should probably get on that, hey? <laughs> Down here, oh look, they have the, the Mario or the uh, Mario Kart build. Bowser's Mario Kart, muscle kart. That thing is huge, man. Okay, that's sweet. That is a nice display. I like that because you get the big buildable Bowser and the car. And I actually skipped over something that I for sure want to get. It's right over here. And it is in the dinosaur department. It is up here. Oh yeah, I for sure need to get that. That just looks like a great build. The dinosaur fossil T-Rex skull. It's right beside this one. I sort of want to get this one too because of all the cute baby dinos that you get in it. Like, are you kidding me? Look at all the cute little baby dinos. Look at them all. That's ridiculous, four little cute dinosaurs? 50 bucks for the Baby Dinosaur Rescue Center. So it's New Year's Day, normally you'd be like, yeah, modular building, yeah, we're gonna go get the new modular building, but no, the Natural History Museum actually came out on December 1st, so it's 
not a new issue here today, but it should be in stock, but I don't see it. Where is it? Is it not here? I don't see it. Okay, maybe I'm blind, <laughs> but they have like pretty much everything else. Uh, and the new sets that came out in this department are the roses for 80 bucks. The roses actually look crazy because all of them are sort of like different builds. I don't really have any more space for botanicals in my collection, unfortunately. I might have space for the Polaroid. I haven't quite decided if I want to get the Polaroid yet. 516 pieces, $100. Above that is the parrots. It's like a different style of art, which is interesting. And one that I really like, it's sort of like a modular building, is actually right up here. This is the family reunion celebration, which is like a Chinese restaurant. And look at the part usage with the dark green ingots and like that uh, red pumpkin there and all the minifigures as well. So this one came or is coming out for the Lunar New Year, right? That is a really cool set. You could take two of them and you could like supersize it or modularize it. So it's like 32 by 32 stud base plate in your Lego city. That would be crazy. Also right below that is the new dragon, which looks like a crazy build as well. Look at the uh, shield tiles. I believe those are print. Not bad. So some good Lunar New Year stuff, but I still don't see the Natural History Museum. Maybe it's elsewhere in the store. Oh, speaking of Lunar New Year stuff, there's also this little guy right here. It's Mickey Mouse. So this is the Spring Festival Mickey Mouse. I for sure got to get one of those. I've collected all of the Brickheads. Well, like not all of them, but the pop culture related ones, Disney ones. And I think I need to add this Mickey Mouse to my collection. Over here, we have City, Harry Potter, and 3-in-1. This has actually been changed up. This city used to be over by like Technic, I think it was. Somebody was saying that this store was like pretty much empty, like the shelves were pretty much empty yesterday. And the reason is, is because they put all the new stuff out today. It's a crazy amount of city stuff that is coming out today. Like it is insane. The space base and rocket launch pad. Look at that thing. That's crazy. Okay, and then we also have this uh, jail right here. There's something that I really like about the police prison island, and that is these new elements right there. You see those in the one by four by six window frames? That's a super cool part. Uh, a couple new vehicles right down here as well. Look at the money flying out of the trunk. Ah, that's actually a pretty cool looking car though. I do like the look of that. Unfortunately, my city is jammed. There's no more space for vehicles. Uh, there's also some new space stuff as well. Look at the new like astronaut minifigure in there. So this is the Space Explorer Rover and Alien Life. And then we have the Space Construction Mech. Also the Interstellar Spaceship. I do like the look of that one and the Spaceship and Asteroid Discovery. Down here is a huge one. Got that space theme. It is the Command Rover and Crane Loader. Then the Modular Space Station. Hey, I didn't see the one that had like the planets. Was that coming out this month? I think it was Technic. Maybe that's next month. This is the new uh, Police Mobile Crime Labs truck. And then there's the police speedboat and Crooks hideout. Man, there's so many new city sets. It's crazy. And then also the fire station. Isn't there a new fire plane too? Oh yeah, that's right up here. We'll breeze by the four x four truck. Oh, the burger truck. We're not gonna breeze by that. I need that. Gonna get one of those for sure. I sort of want to get this monster truck too. Look at that, there's even more monster trucks. That's a cool figure. Look at the, the face print detailing on that. That's cool. But the... Uh, fire rescue plane is right up here that's a neat looking plane look at this guy wow it's like the falcon <laughs> it's not actually the falcon it's the falcon in lego city holy cow that is a lot of new stuff in the uh, city department even these are new as well the race car and car carrier truck wow are you getting anything today like from the city department or from any of the departments or anything that we've seen? Let me know by commenting below. Uh, moving on to Harry Potter, I don't 
think there's anything new in Harry Potter, right? No, I don't think so. But there is the three-in-one stuff over here. Now, this is actually pretty sick. The astronaut. And it's pretty cool because you can actually open his mask and I think you can fit a minifigure in there. Doesn't show it. Doesn't show it on the packaging, but you for sure can. This will open up and you can put a figure in there. That looks like a crazy build. Like, I might have to get one of those as well. That just looks like a great build. Put it with the other space stuff that I have. The ukulele is pretty cool too. Same with the retro roller skate and the watering can. Can't say that I need any of those, but there is the giraffe set. Oh yeah, that's right up here. So there's the giraffes, or sorry, singular giraffe, and also the flamingo. It's known as the wild safari animals and the hamster wheel. Oh man, the things you can build with Lego, right? Flatbed truck with helicopter as well. And then the retro camera and the exotic peacock along with a little tiny cute red dragon. There's a whole bunch of new friend stuff. I think we already covered the most exciting one, which was that mansion. Yeah, there's the mansion in the box. Mm. I think I'm gonna get that one day. Can't say that I'm gonna get it today though. There's also the Heart Lake City Music Talent Show. Look at that stage. I think it looks rocking. And then the uh, Pop Star Music Tour. Whoa. Got too many vehicles in my city. Uh, is there any other new friend stuff? Oh yeah, right up here. You can see it with the green bar. So there's the uh, shopping mall, hospital. Oh, these houses actually look pretty cool. They're like the little houses that you can, you could for sure like modularize. I like the part usage and the different colors. Those actually do look neat. Like look at these elements up here. Friends has some really cool pieces. And like this just looks like really good. Like the colors aren't too far out there and I feel like it would look good in an expanded like residential area. I, I said it before, like Friends is really stepping up their game and I'm not, I'm not even joking like when it comes to that, like it's actually crazy. Uh, nothing too wild in the Disney department, which sits beside the Friends department. I don't know why I call it the Friends department, but or I don't know why I call it department in general. Oh, I wanted to get this. I think I will get that. I think Jose will really like this one. But yeah, it's more like theme. I just call it department. <laughs> don't ask me why. This is the mini Disney castle aerials. Mini Disney aerials castle. They did like the, the mini Disney castle also. I think that one will pair up nicely with the Agrabah and the Haunted Mansion. Now it does come with a mini doll aerial, which I understand why, but it would be cool if that was a mini fig aerial. That's just my opinion, but pretty cool that they're doing more of those and it sort of matches the other ones in the collection. They've been doing these postcards and the one that came out today is actually Japan. It looks like this cherry blossom for 20 bucks also came out today. I've always said that they should issue sets like this, but it should be like a Lego City tree builder kit where you get maybe a selection of parts, like all these Technic ones, a selection of leaf elements and flowers, etc. And then there's an instruction manual that shows you how to build different trees. Call it like a, a 12 in one or something like that. And it just shows you how to build the different trees. And then you can buy, I don't know, 10 of these and build 10 different trees. Wouldn't that be cool? Just like a tree maker kit. That'd be super neat for like Lego city builders. Oh yeah, this stuff is coming out here for uh, Valentine's Day as well, right? The hedgehog picnic date and the cherry blossoms. And then there's the new calendar right down here as well for the year of the dragon. Going into year of the dragon, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty neat way to keep track of the date. I think it's an interesting concept. I don't think I need it because I'll just look at my phone, but it is pretty cool. Also, it looks like, what's that? Converts into a boat or plus the boat. Oh, you can have it displayed as the boat. That's cool, the dragon boat, or you can have it displayed like that. So it is like a two-in-one. Oh, I just saw this little display here. Did we see these friend sets on the display over there? Uh, oh yeah, we did, but there's some more space themed stuff. It seems like they're coming out, well, it doesn't seem like, they are coming out with space themed stuff in all different departments. Technic, city, friends, creator, etc. It's an interesting concept. So there's definitely a lot of stuff that I want to get today. The Polaroid, that's one of them. The uh, Chinese restaurant, I think that'll look great in the city. There's some new Sonic stuff that I didn't even go over. 
like this Knuckles mech right there. I definitely want the Knuckles minifigure, but I don't know if I want to get the mech itself. I sort of want to get this Stormtrooper and also this pirate. I don't think they're going to let me do that, though. Uh, for sure going to get Bowser. Like, that is uh, such a cool set there in the uh, display cabinet. That one right there. And I just like the size of it. Sort of want to get those baby dinos. That would be nice. In the Star Wars department, you know I'm going to get two of those and probably a bunch more throughout the years. I'm definitely going to leave the Ninjago department alone today. Technic. Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to leave that stuff here just because there's... I don't know, it's not really up my alley, I guess. And then the Marvel stuff. Oh, this is where I'm having a hard time because I want to get more than, than what I'm getting. But I'm for sure going to get the Spider-Man and the little mini rocket there. I sort of want to get some more stuff from here too, though. I sort of want to get those ones as well. Uh, I got to leave some for next time, right? And then City, I honestly think that I'm just going to get the burger truck. And something I'm on the fence about still is the three-in-one stuff. I think if I would get anything from the three-in-one department, it's for sure, there I am, department again, it's for sure gonna be the uh, astronaut and the giraffe. So yeah, I guess I'll just uh, make my decision based on that. Hey, I wanna give a big shout out to the Lego store for letting me in here early to do some filming. I didn't feature the Duplo stuff, sorry about that. But now I'm gonna go hop back in line and then uh, make my exciting January 1st purchase. Look at this though, everybody, when the opportunity is here, you've got to take it, right? Woo! That is cool. Got to check out the Lamborghini CN. Whew, when I was in Billund, they had the life-size Bugatti, like Technic, on display in the LEGO campus. It was actually wild seeing that. It is just massive. All right, I guess it's time to start making some purchases here and check out what I got on January 1st. You wanna see something funny? I came prepared. <laughs> I got this giant bag. I got one of these when I bought the at, -AT Walker, like the UCS one, and I also got one when I bought the Coliseum. It's just smart to bring a massive bag. Why not? So the Lego store that I'm at is located in West Edmonton Mall which is Canada's largest shopping center, might even be North America's. No, the American Dream in New Jersey, that might be West Edmonton Mall now. But the American Dream, the Mall of America and West Edmonton Mall are owned by the same group of people. Did you know that? Pretty cool. And right by the Lego store is this massive Santa Maria pirate ship. So I'm actually just hanging out by the ship waiting for the store to open. There is a pretty big line, but the way they operate now is they actually make, they go outside and they make a list of the things that people want and then they have it behind the cash register for them. And I was here an hour early, so I was, whatever, technically fifth in line, so they did the same thing for me, which is good. But check out the view, right? Ooh, pirate ship, ooh, yeah, pretty cool. Also like the, the glass roof, whoa, isn't that neat? Pretty cool mall, that's for sure. I'm happy that, I've had access to this mall my entire life, and now I have access to Canada's largest Lego store. Pretty sweet. And one of the world's largest shopping centers. Oh, I might have overdone it a little bit there, Lego. Oh my gosh. There's lots of good releases on January 1st every year. There's my haul. I did put some stuff back, but I managed to get quite a bit, do quite a bit of damage, that's for sure. Whew. Maybe I shouldn't have went so hard, but I did have a bunch of VIP points that I did redeem, but maybe it would have been better to do like some online, some in store, maybe come back the next day to get more of those GWPs, which should be in my bag. Yeah, right here. Cause I could have split it up over multiple days or through different uh, venues to, to get more of these, but whatever it is what it is. It's New Year's day and I wanted to celebrate with a big old Lego haul. All right, everybody, <laughs> let's dive into it. eh? So I got this, I'm pretty sure Jose will be pretty happy about that one. It's the uh, Ariel's Palace. 
Oh, it actually has these transparent pink uh, fern elements. Come check it out. Look at that. Mrs. Brixie's on the camera there. Look at that, eh? Transparent fern elements in pink. That's really cool. That's neat. Uh, then we also got, uh, yeah, you know it. Oh, look, they actually show uh, Mario in it. So you can put your Mario in there if you so choose. That's not bad. I hope they do more like that. Then, of course, I got two of these bad boys because, once again, army building toolkits. Got to get those. And Spider-Man. That's going to match up with all the other helmets. This thing is going to go on top of the end game final battle. No, not end game. You know what I mean. No way home, final battle. Yeah, now we've got all the characters. Cool. Burger truck, need that for the city. Everyone's got to have a burger. Got to have a burger once in a while. I showed you this. I don't even know if I'm going to... Yeah, I'll build this for sure. Yeah, that's a good GWP. I like that. Uh, this is probably one of the greatest dino sets ever. Jose said, no, you're not going to get that. I was like, yeah, I am. That's cool. Time for this big bag to move off the table so we can reveal Rocket Raccoon. What a jerk. <laughs> you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. Here we go. We got this one here, too. Chinese restaurant. Pretty sure I'm going to be able to uh, modularize this one day. It does have an open back. Take that. And then uh, we've got, uh, it's got an open back there, but uh, should look pretty cool in the city. I think it's going to look very modern, and I just love all the different part usage, like I was talking about in the store, too. I didn't point out these gold fence elements and, like, the gold frogs. Yeah. Super cool set. And then uh, I got 12 of the new CMS. I'm going to leave the other ones in the bag, but I got 12 of these. I'm excited to see if I got the entire case or the entire series, I should say, what I decided to do was just grab them three apart because I've bought cases of these before and I know that I grouped them by three, so I just separated them. So I hope I got all different ones. This I'll find out in a future, uh, future video. I'll let you know and I'll also build all of this stuff and place it in the Lego City in the Lego room. Pretty sweet haul. I forgot the Mickey Mouse brick head though. Uh, I also had the astronaut in my hand, and I decided to put that back. I want to get that X-Man jet, but or the X-Men jet, but it's like $110, $120. It's crazy expensive for what it is. Like, that's insane. Uh, then I want to get the giraffe as well. And is there anything else that I missed? Oh, maybe that mansion, that friend's mansion. I think that would be really cool to have in a future layout. Modularize that and give my own spin on it and complete it. That would be super cool. But I just don't have the space, so why would I why would I get that today? I think I overdid it anyway because I could have went back tomorrow or whatever it may be and got some more of these based on this massive purchase. But like I said, I did have some VIP points that I redeemed. Either way, it is New Year's Day. Happy New Year's and happy 2024. Super happy that I was able to make it to the Lego store today and get all this stuff. Thank you so much for coming on by. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.